thing. Um, I was going to make another video about it, but I'm also going to talk about it now. Um, I've been trying to decide what I want to do with the channel and what I want to cover. Because I do want to put up more content on YouTube. I like podcasting. I need to find a way to fit it into my life because it's, I don't know, it's enjoyable. Talking to myself is apparently fun. It is kind of. When I was a kid, I used to spend lots of time talking to my mirror. Why? I don't know. Because she was interested in what I had to say. <laughs> Um, so now I talk to a video camera and release it to the world. Um, but I was trying to think about kind of like what the channel is and the idea of Cutesy Poo Creations and what it is that I'm creating and thus want to release content on. And I realized that, like, to me, the things I'm creating is more about creating, like, this life that makes me happy. And some of that includes the crocheting, some of it includes the cards, some of it includes the things I make for sale and for myself. Um, but it's really creating a life that kind of meets the ideals that Steve and I have for ourselves and our family. And so I would like to talk more about the things I do to make that life happen. Um, which includes the homeschooling and the living rurally and the growing and preserving our own food and the not eating much processed and the creating things from scratch and the budgeting to live on a low income um, because that's the options you have when you live in a community like ours um, and I would not trade the community for the higher income. Um, so talking more about how I create the cutesy poo life, not just the cutesy poo crafts. So there will be more content. I have been filming some about budgeting things and like how I make our laundry soap and stuff. And I'm sure that as the garden starts not being covered in snow and we start in on that, um, there will be more of that. And hopefully I'll be more involved in some of the outside stuff this year. As, you know, has become obvious to us, it's been years since I have not had a small baby and been nursing on demand. And I am not anymore. So, I have a little bit more time on my hands to, um, to focus on whatever it is that I'm doing. It's not that I have a lot of extra time, but my time is less, like, immediately interrupted by screaming babies who need to eat. Um, now it's just whining children who are constantly hungry because they're children and growing. But that is easier to deal with than a child who's crying and you are their only source of happiness at the moment. Um, so yeah, so reprioritizing my life and, you know, moving myself up that priority list a little. Um, so, so yeah, that's kind of what we've been up to. 